Hi YouTube, Alan here. So in my last video I mentioned that I had always wanted to build a 3D printed bearing system. And so I decided, why not? So before we get to the printing, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. In the link in the description below to Thingiverse, there is an adjustable model. This is very important to uh, set it up correctly for your printer. In my printing set setup, I decided to go with six planetary gears, essential gear, and an outside diameter of 60 millimeters. I also made it so the teeth helically spiraled back one and a quarter distances up from the one standard. But the biggest and most important setting that you can change here is the tolerances. Now the original model starts off with five planetary gears, the sun gear, and the outside ring gear, but it has a tolerance setting of 0.1 millimeters. Now this was going to be too small for my printer, so I decided to bump it up to 0.25 millimeters. This was a little bit low still, so in the, in the future if I was to print this again, I'd definitely go to 0.3 or even 0.35. I'm not sure, I'd have to test it out, but they were just a little bit too close. So now that I've talked about the settings, let's get to the print. So here we have it with the six planetary gears, the ring gear, and then the sun gear in the center. I have it set up for a seven millimeter hex key in the center. And as you can see, it spins quite nicely. So this was a success. Um, it spins really, really nicely. It did come out stuck together a little bit, um, and that was because I think the third, fourth, second, third, fourth layers um, over extruded slightly. I had to print this off at 98% uh, extrusion as opposed to 100% extrusion like I normally do. Um, but they were just a little bit too close so they stuck together there. So I did have to kind of crack it the first, first go around. And so there is some sticky points to it. But all together it is pretty smooth. Um, there's not really any play in it so that's excellent. 
Um, so as I said, next time I probably print this off uh, with a tolerance of 0.3.35. Um, that way, you know, stick with 100% extrusion and not have it stick together, or even go like 99% extrusion and not have it stick together, and just have a little bit more clearance between the gears. Um, but overall, I'm extremely happy with this. I've been playing with it non-stop. And the beautiful thing is that it's just going to get a little bit smoother as it slowly wears down those little high points. Um, when it first started out, there was a few really good sticking points, but now it's uh, pretty smooth, uh, it's pretty nice. So if you want to print your own, follow the link down below, and then go into the customizer, set it up how you want it. So you can pick all of the settings you want, number of planetary gears, how many teeth on the sun, planetary gear, how big the outside diameter is going to be, how thick it is. Uh, I think this is 15 millimeters. I originally wanted to print it off black and white, but I was busy when the switchover happened. So you all have seen that in the time lapse video, it kind of just pauses and then goes back to work. I was going to switch colors there, but oh well. It's, all, it's very nice. I'm really, really happy with this print in place, and it's something I definitely want to get more involved with and, and more into. You know, trying to make my own designs and print more print in place stuff. You know, I recommend the model. Make sure that you get the right tolerance for your printer. This may take a little trial and error. I was pretty good for the first time, but wash the first couple layers and it's sticking together. You know, you might have to go for less extrusion or more tolerance. So you don't print off the entire thing. Find out you have a block instead of a working gear system. If you have any comments or suggestions on what I should do next, please leave them down below. If you haven't already subscribed, press that button so you can see more videos like this. Thanks.